Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today for our overview of Sensor Tower Custom Alerts. I'm Randy Nelson, Head of Mobile Insights at Sensor Tower and one of your hosts uh, for today. We have some current Sensor Tower customers on the call, but for those of you who are new to us, uh, we're going to start out with a brief background on who we are and what we do. After that, we'll dive into today's topic, which is, of course, custom alerts, presenting some typical use cases, feature availability, and setup, wrapping up with a look at the next phase of custom alerts, our upcoming Slack integration. Uh, with that said, let me introduce my colleague, uh, Wes McCabe, who's the product marketing manager here at Sensor Tower, and who will be providing you with a brief background on Sensor Tower and what we're here to speak with you about today. Thank you, Randy. Um, I want to start off today by providing a brief overview of Sensor Tower and its history as a company for the folks that are less familiar with our offerings. So, Sensor Tower got started as an app store optimization platform. Uh, we help developers improve their app store listings um, and their metadata in an effort to drive more traffic to their app. Um, so, that was our first offering. We call that App Intelligence. And in the second half of 2014, we launched Store Intelligence, which gives, you de which gives developers data and insights on their competitors and the whole app ecosystem. You can find download and revenue estimates for any app on the App Store and Google Play, um, as well as surface some of the top and trending apps each week and dive into uh, country analysis as well. Most recently, we launched our third offering there on the right, Ad Intelligence. This product allows anyone running app install campaigns to better benchmark their performance um, and gather valuable competitive information. Um, there's a creative gallery in there where you can draw inspiration from the top performing creatives. And you can also see an impression timeline for any app to see when they've launched a burst campaign and which networks are actually driving their growth. So we're working with many enterprise clients today. These are just a few of our customers. Um, and as you can see, it's not just app publishers. You know, we're working with ad networks, financial institutions, um, venture capitalists, and, and industry an analysts as well. We're very proud of the, the talented folks we get to work with each day. So without further ado, let's dive into why we are here today. Um, today's session is on custom alerts. And I'd like to start with some background um, as to why we built this feature. So as a mobile marketer today, there's so much to keep track of between your own campaigns, um, keeping up with market trends and news, and doing competitive intelligence. And there's a lot of valuable insights you can get from logging into Sensor Tower. Um, but historically, it's, in, it's involved dedicating a few hours each week um, to really dive in and, and do this competitive intelligence. Um, oftentimes, there's new competitors launching, and it becomes overwhelming to manually track all of their initiatives, and it's hard to weed out the noise from the valuable change that happens in the App Store. So what we did is we made custom alerts. So custom alerts is a triggered notification system that lets you know when something substantial has happened to the metrics that you care about. So on this first version, we allow you to set up alerts when a publisher launches a new app. Um, when a competitor has localized their app in a new country, um, when they've reached a certain benchmark in downloads, for instance, they've, they hit one million installs, um, when there's a spike in a competitor's download or revenue, um, plus a lot more. Um, so what I'd like to do right now is hand it back over to Randy, who is going to show you what these custom alerts look like and how they're being used today. All right, thanks, Wes. Uh, the first uh, custom alert that I want to talk about today is called the Download Threshold Alert. Uh, this alert type allows you to receive a notification when apps that you're tracking uh, pass a certain download threshold. And in the case you're seeing here, that's one million installs. Uh, this is a great and fully automatic way to surface uh, successful apps on the App Store and Google Play uh, that really doesn't involve the manual sifting through store intelligence that you're probably used to at the moment. Uh, you can have the best performing apps for a defined period delivered right to you, and you can click on uh, their icons within the custom alert to be taken directly to their profile and learn more about them. Uh, in some use cases uh, that we've seen, uh, if you're, for instance, a finance customer, 
Uh, you can use this alert type to identify emerging players in different verticals uh, that you may be interested in. Uh, or another one might be uh, in the advertising space, uh, where you can use this uh, custom alert uh, as a signal uh, that an app or apps have reached a milestone in their growth and may be exploring new ways to reach that next stage and may benefit from your help. Uh, along those lines, and speaking of advertising, uh, the next use case that we're looking at is a spike in share of voice. Uh, this is for our ad intelligence platform uh, specifically. Uh, typically, though, for those of you who spend time monitoring for burst campaigns uh, from competitors, you know that this requires manually reviewing a network analysis for each app or each publisher. Uh, but with custom alerts, you can define the apps that you'd like to monitor for spikes in share of voice and get notified whenever there's a sudden change on any of the networks we track. Uh, in the case that you're seeing here, uh, we've tracked uh, Pandora, and you can see that an alert was triggered by a rapid increase in share of voice for Pandora on the Instagram ad network. Uh, as in the case of a, a UA manager, uh, knowing when and where your competitors are running burst campaigns can really be an invaluable uh, tool in uh, informing your own uh, advertising strategy. And custom alerts, we feel, uh, deliver these, these types of insights to you as soon as they appear in our platform uh, without the need to surface them for yourself. Uh, so that time can be spent uh, elsewhere in, in the platform and uh, researching other market intelligence. Next, we have a custom alert uh, for any change in the activity of reviews. So this can be um, all reviews, positive reviews, or negative reviews. Um, and in this case right here, we see that on June 9th, Dropbox had an unusually high number of reviews. Uh, even more so, we can see the top terms and phrases that were found in those reviews. Um, this one in particular caught my eye, um, the phrase change log. And after clicking through uh, to our review analysis product, I quickly found that users were upset that the publisher wasn't leaving more detailed release notes. So a quick reminder to publishers out there, users do in fact read your release notes. And this is just one example of you know, the actual insights you can get from custom alerts. Next we have a really cool alert that notifies you when a publisher has soft launched a new title. So in this case we can see that Twitter on June 21st, soft launch Twitter Engage. Um, when you click on the app icon here, it's actually going to take you within Sensor Tower and you'll be able to see which countries um, that publisher is soft launching the title. Um, additionally, uh, we'll notify you when that um, title has released its worldwide launch as well. Um, so this is a great way to stay on top of competitors and um, really know their roadmap and their go-to-market strategy um, so that you can adapt your own um, and beat them to market. So now that we've showed you some of the basic uh, use cases for the current version of custom alerts, uh, you're probably pretty eager to try them out for yourself. And the good news is uh, they're actually active right now across the entire Sensor Tower platform. And better than that, even, they're completely painless to set up, uh, we promise. Uh, to get started using them, uh, you can head to your account info page uh, by clicking on your email address in the upper right-hand corner of any Sensor Tower page. Uh, next, you will want to click on Custom Alerts in the Manage User section of the left-hand menu. And that's what you can see in the first leftmost uh, image there on your screen. Uh, to set up an alert, uh, you simply click the green Add New Alert button in the middle of the Custom Alerts page and you'll be presented with a search dialog where you can choose what you'd like to track. Uh, if you enter a app or a company uh, into this field to track, uh, you'll get an autocomplete suggestions. Uh, select one or more of those and click Next, and then you can choose from su some suggested alerts uh, to get you started. You can choose one, more, or all of them. And that's really it. Uh, you can come back to this custom alerts page uh, in the future, whenever you want, to tweak the alerts you've created or create new alerts. Uh, you can add or remove apps or publishers from existing alerts and define the actions or what triggers uh, those alerts at any time. 
So custom alerts are available to anyone with a sensor tower account. Um, this slide shows you um, who gets access to what. So the cool thing is all sensor tower users get access to most of what we've covered today. That is um, the review alerts, the soft launch alert, worldwide launch alert, as well as um, a custom alert around category ranking. So anytime there's been a deviation from the norm there, you'll get an alert. Um, our app intelligence enterprise folks um, additionally get custom alerts for anything that changes um, at an app update. Um, so those are the elements that we're currently showing in the update timeline. Those are things like when an app changes its price, uh, change their screenshots, title, keywords, anything that's happening there, you'll get a custom alert. Store intelligence folks get revenue and download alerts, while our ad intelligence customers get notifications when there's a spike in their share of voice. Uh, or in the share of voice for any app that they're tracking. The last thing I want to point out here, it's in bold at the bottom, is we do have the ability um, to build a specific alert for your use case um, if you're an enterprise customer. Um, so we, we do encourage you to get in contact with your CSM if you have ideas around um, you know, a specific alert that you'd like to build. Um, these are a few examples to um, get the creative juices flowing and, and inspire you. These are some custom alerts that we've built um, um, here for specific enterprise customers. For instance, uh, this first one, all games with more than 1 million monthly downloads that has also had a spike in downloads in the last month. Um, so uh, what's really interesting here is uh, it's less about tracking a publisher or an app and getting notifications, but it's more setting up some criteria and if any app meets that criteria, we'll send you a list of those apps. So there's a lot you can do here. Um, and again, really encourage you to um, get in touch with your CSM to take advantage of this. Last thing that we wanted to remind you of is the daily report. So much of what we've talked about today is, is custom alerts, and that is everything on competitors and other apps. But we also have alerts um, for your own app. Um, so daily reports is an email you get once a day, um, everything related to uh, your own app. Um, so if you've connected your downloaded revenue data with Sensor Tower, um, you'll get your uh, downloaded revenue figures for the last 24 hours, as well as category ranking changes, review changes, um, and some other cool stuff in that email. So be sure to check that out as well. All right, thanks, Wes. Um, wanted to wrap up our presentation today with a look ahead at a glimpse of the next phase of custom alerts in the form of our upcoming Slack bot integration. And the good news here is while uh, the custom alerts that we've showed you today are available right now to try out, um, this is really in our near-term uh, roadmap and we are looking at deploying uh, this new feature in the coming days. Uh, so please uh, be on the lookout for information from your CSM about when this feature goes live. Um, this is an, uh, a custom uh, Slack bot that integrates custom alert functionality directly into your Slack environment uh, with notifications that deliver immediately actionable insights uh, and links to the relevant areas of Sensor Tower where you can learn more about what triggered the alerts. Uh, we're internally here uh, really excited by the potential uh, that these alerts will offer uh, to simplify your day-to-day -day processes and, and improve, like Wes said, kind of that overall signal-to-noise ratio. Uh, we're, we're excited to see how you uh, use these in your organization. Uh, you know, w one of the things that we're testing here internally is, you know, having a dedicated uh, Slack channel for these bots so that, you know, anyone on the team, anyone on your team uh, that's using Slack can, can just, you know, not have to deal with a cluttered email inbox. You, you can just have these uh, delivered as, as uh, familiar Slack notifications uh, as they come in, and they're, they're tied to uh, when this data is available on the Sensor Tower platform. So you can just click through on them and, and immediately, uh, immediately gain some uh, more insights into, into what triggered them and, and continue your research from there. Um, so with that said, I uh, wanted to thank everyone again uh, for Wes and myself for attending uh, today's webinar. I hope you're as uh, excited as we are about the potential uh, that Custom Alerts offers. 
if you have any additional questions about custom alerts or would like to discuss uh, setting up the advanced alerts that Wes mentioned, uh, please reach out to your uh, customer success manager uh, and on our CSM team or email support at sensortower.com and we'll be happy to help you out. So uh, thanks again for attending and have a great rest of your week.